Hi students. So in our previous module, we had studied how to calculate oxidation number with the help of structural method. We will see few more examples for the structural method, which are very important. I suggest you to even remember the structures of these compounds. So here, a very first example is peroxymonosulfuric acid, which is also termed as caros acid in common. Now, student per oxy with the name only suggests there must be one peroxide linkage present, right? So, first let's see the molecular formula is H2SO5. And with the help of algebraic method, if we calculate here, H is plus 1, oxygen is minus 2, and we take sulfur as X. So, the value of X comes out to be as nothing but plus 8. Now, student, is this possible sulfur can donate 8 electrons? The electronic configuration of sulfur is 2,8,6. That is, maximum a sulfur can donate 6 electrons. Then how is it possible? In this molecule, we get 8 as the answer. So this, with the help of algebraic method, is a false answer because sulfur can exhibit maximum oxidation state of plus 6. So let's just see the oxidation state with the help of a structure. Here, if you see sulfur which is attached to oxygen with single bond will have plus 1 and oxygen will have minus 1 as oxygen is more electronegative. Wherever there is double bond, then it will be minus 2 and plus 2. So, overall of you see for the structure, the total comes out for the sulfur as plus 6. Students, if you see here, we have highlighted here that there is a peroxide linkage present of the oxygen. That is, one of the oxygen present here is peroxy, where it is attached to sulfur as well as oxygen at the other end. A next example is peroxy disulfuric acid, which in common terms is called as Marshall's acid. And the molecular formula is H2S2O8. Again, with the help of algebraic method, we calculated taking H as plus 1, O as minus 2 and S as X. So, here the answer of X comes out to be nothing but plus 7. Students, we just now discussed that S cannot have value more than plus 6. It can have max value of plus 6. So, let's jump to structure where we can again denote the oxidation number for sulfur and oxygen here, giving as minus 1 to oxygen wherever there is a single bond and minus 2 to the oxygen wherever it is double bond and plus 2 to the sulfur wherever there is a double bond. So, by denoting the numbers here, we get the value of two sulfurs as plus 6 and the average oxidation number will be two sulfur atom with plus 6 oxidation state divided by total number of sulfurs which are 2. So, the answer comes out to be plus 6 which is the correct answer. Moving to the next example which is chromium oxide peroxide and the molecular formula is CrO5. Let's see with the help of algebraic method what value do we get? Oxygen is minus 2 and chromium is x, right? So, here we get value of chromium is plus 10. Student, this is absolutely wrong because chromium can have oxidation number from plus 1 to plus 6. Beyond that, it is not possible. So, let's see with the help of structure. So, as you can see, the structure is very beautiful where there are four oxygen atoms which are attached to one side sulfur and other side to itself as other oxygen atom. Hence, we have four oxygen which are peroxide linkage and one oxygen which is an oxide linkage. The structure in general is also called as butterfly structure. We denote the oxidation number to all the oxygen and chromium here. We get the value of chromium as plus 6. That is oxidation number of chromium in CrO5 is plus 6 and not plus 10. So students, next compound is calcium oxychloride which is also called as bleaching powder in common. The molecular formula is CaOCl2. Let's see what is oxidation number of oxygen here. With the algebraic method, if we calculate calcium is always plus 2 as it belongs to group 2, chlorine is always minus 1 and we take oxygen as x. So, value of x comes out to be 0. Now, how it is getting as 0? Let's see with the help of an structure. So, here we have the structure where calcium is attached to one chlorine and other side being a divalent is attached to oxygen and chlorine. So, if we denote the number Chlorine gets minus 1, calcium gets plus 1, calcium gets plus 1, oxygen gets minus 1. 
and the another chlorine is nothing but plus 1 because oxygen is more electronegative than chlorine. So, if we see the oxidation state of your average oxidation comes out to be plus 1, minus 1, that is nothing but 0. So, here the average oxidation number for chlorine is nothing but 0 because here chlorine is exhibiting as plus 1 as one of the atom and the other atom is exhibiting as minus 1. So, the average oxidation number comes out to be 0. With this, we finish here our calculation of oxidation number both by algebraic method and structural method. And in next modules, we will see how to balance the redox reaction. Till then, thank you.